Now, ladies, I see that you have a rock star in the studio with a few paintings, and I was telling him I have pour some sugar on me in my yeah. head. Oh, Can't get rid of it. Rocking out all morning. You're right? gonna be singing that all, <laughs> all day, day. Andrea. If you like classic rock, you're gonna oh. be excited for our next guest. That's right. From the music scene to, to working with injured veterans, Rick Allen of Def Leppard is using his latest passion to benefit veterans. Check it out. The English rock band Def Leppard formed in 1977 as part of a new wave of British heavy metal. At the age of 15, Rick Allen became the drummer for this iconic group. But at the height of worldwide fame, Rick lost his arm in a brutal car accident. He turned that personal hardship into an inspiration for his fans worldwide by sharing his journey and continuing his devotion to his music career. For more than a decade, Rick and his family have been involved with young cancer patients, children with life challenges, families of domestic violence, and veterans of many global wars. After receiving humanitarian awards from Best Buddies and the Wounded Warrior Project, Rick has turned his creative talents towards raising money through artwork to benefit veterans' organizations. And you know what? We cannot contain our excitement this morning. We couldn't be more happy to have you in studio, Rick Allen. Thanks what a, so much what for a fantastic us. introduction. Man, I've. <laughs> <laughs> I, we just like. We reminded of some things. You know what? It's larger than life. You're larger than life, and we're just thrilled to have you here this morning. So we got to know, like, what came first? The drumming or uh, the artwork, the really, painting? I got into painting when I was really young. Got more paint on me than anywhere else. <laughs> but <laughs> nice. uh, but I, I, it, was, it was always a staple. It was always something that, uh, that took me to a really good place. And then uh, I discovered music, uh, got into photography. And then more recently, um, my youngest daughter, um, we started painting together. And it was a great way for us to connect. I love uh, that. Yeah. What does the painting provide you that maybe drumming or performing doesn't? It's interesting. I go to a very similar place. It's uh, being in the moment, uh, you know, um, and not necessarily having rules around how I do it, but trying to trying to be in the moment and, and you know, for the painting to come from my heart. Mm -hmm. And um, music really does the same thing. It takes me to that mm -hmm. same sort of mindless place, you know, where I'm in the moment. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, that makes me wonder then your approach to painting. I mean, drumming, it's very, okay, th these are the beats. This is where you need to um, stay within these parameters. Yeah. Painting, I mean, do you go to the canvas with something in mind or do you just freestyle? Um, uh, for instance, the, uh, the legend pieces, um, I'll, I'll take a photograph and I'll make it really contrasty mm -hmm. and I'll start to study uh, the whites, the grays and, and the blacks and then basically sketch the thing out do a really uh, thin underpainting, and then just start to build the layers up. Uh, whereas something like that, there's a, a little more math involved, uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, or depending on the piece. And obviously that, that's paying homage to where I choose to live, which is here in the States. Well, and obviously here. paying homage to, uh, to our vets as well. Mm -hmm. I love that you're painting drums. Oh, it's that's great. just awesome. <laughs> Well, I've got art to wear, I've got art to play, uh -huh. you know, we're, we're covering all bases. <laughs> when you um, lost your arm, you were saying that kind of the, the painting helped with the PTSD that you suffered as well? It, it, it really, it, I find it very uh, therapeutic. It, it, really, it really helps to calm my nervous system and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's just a really, a really good way for me to manage uh, PTSD. And what was it like to relearn that, you know, just like with drumming, just using one arm? Very interesting. It was less of a relearning and more of a redirecting of information that was already in, in my mind. Oh, wow. Um, I could do things with my right hand after the accident that I could never do. And then as a kid, I was always really right-footed playing uh, soccer. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I could kick with my left almost as good as my right, just naturally. So something happened, mm -hmm. some sort of ancient response, I don't know. But uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a, a learning. It was just redirecting information. So it's in there, but it's just when you're forced to figure it out and you know I, it's that, it's I, innate. I think it's necessity, mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, the mind figures it out. So, so I'm, I'm happy that I yeah. didn't have to relearn <laughs> everything. You know. Thank goodness, right? And 
Uh, w w not to harp on this, but it is so fascinating. But but when you did lose your arm, I mean, how do you think that that has changed you? How do you did you grow into a different person because I, of that loss? I think so. It was almost like that chapter of my life had a big full stop at the end of it, mm -hmm. and then I had to rethink uh, how I was going to move forward. I went through a lot of very profound experiences, and. Um, I think it set me on a better trajectory, you mm. know, and um, just, you know, just more of a responsible person, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you were talking, um, uh, you've used all of your experiences and your fame to give back, especially to the veterans, and you were talking about the Legends paintings. So where can we see them and how do they benefit? Um, these are going to be at uh, Tyson's Galleria and Montgomery yeah? uh, on, okay. sa on Saturday. In fact, everything that you see here will be will be there, and uh, a portion of the proceeds from from all the pieces go towards uh, veterans programs. And, uh, and why was why is veterans so such a have a big place in your heart? Because of uh, my own trauma and and going through you know even though it's not uh, uh, combat related, uh, the brain doesn't know that mm -hmm. you know it could be from an abusive relationship or you know, any, any form of trauma, and, and it, can, it can sort of come up in the body as, as PTSD. And so. coming up this summer, uh, busy, busy summer for you. Yes. Yeah, yeah you have no you downtime. You are the busiest right? man. Oh, man. I was t yeah, I don't want to know. It's like, it's, there's so much ahead of me. But yeah, I think, uh, I think June 8th and uh, June 16th will be, will be in the area. So, okay. Def Leppard and Journey. I yeah. mean, that's like that. that what? That's that's what to see this summer. No, it'll that's be an incredible plans, pairing. That's it. Yeah, it'll be fun. I, I know. I'm all over. I didn't know I about wait. the Journey well, part. Well, hey, you so know the what? two of you combined. I mean, let's be honest. When does a Def Leppard song come on the radio that you don't crank it up? I know. It's As great. Andrea's been singing, Class, pour some sugar on me all morning, all morning long. Does touring ever get tiring for you? Are it you? does. There's a lot of uh, a <laughs> lot of waiting around. Uh, you know, probably uh, similar to to what you do here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like hurry up and wait. You yeah. know, you need to be at this place. You know, for for you know after sound check, you've got all this time before the show. You know, so th there there are times when I'm like, man, I wish I I wish I was at home. You know. Yeah, and then you but then, then you get out on stage, and it's nothing like the fans. That's the gift. Yep. That's yeah. the gift. That's awesome. the blessing. Yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for being awesome. here. We could talk to you all morning long, but thank you too for your continued support for our veterans and for others. And uh, go see yeah. them on tour. But first, Don't go see worry. them Saturday at Fantastic. Tyson's <laughs> and Montgomery. Rick Allen, thanks so much. Lovely. Thank you. We'll be back thank right you. after this.